There. All right, Beer Night followers. This is the music segment of episode 12 of Beer Night. And we're doing a little thing a little bit differently. Uh, we, we've been doing top fives on hard rock, metal, all these sorts of... Like, or at least that's what it turns into. What it turns into based yeah. on that's what, what we, we like, like. Yeah. obviously, right? So we do, we do top five instrumentals. It really means mm-hmm. top five hard rock or metal instrumentals. Yes, always. <laughs> we don't stray away from our genre that we like usually. Um, but we're doing something different this time. We're going to do top five, get this, movie themed songs, right? We all like movies. So we're going to talk about movie that. Movie themed songs? Theme songs. Theme or songs. scores. Because I thought it was scores. I mean, it could be scores too as well. Scores. Okay, movie songs. themed songs and scores. scores are totally different. All right. You can, you can incorporate both. If you okay, want. I'm going scores. Okay. Like, I'm going movie I'm incorporating scores. both. I'm uh, um, Borth. Borth. Both. So this is this is something that's if we're talking scores, yeah. this is something that's that's really, really near and dear to me because yeah, I'm yeah. a huge, huge, huge movie guy. Mm-hmm. And not just hey, I like to watch movies because I like to see shit blow up and whatever. I like I mean I like that too, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> you know. I just watched the Raid movies again. Great. Mm-hmm. You know, or like 80s action movies where oh. you, Stallone and Schwarzenegger yeah. blowing shit up. It's yeah. great. It's great. great. But time. I also love art films as well. Yeah. And and what's always struck me in movies is how music affects... Oh, they do. They do. The, the art. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the artistic quality of, of a film. Because when you look at a painting, right? Mm-hmm. They use colors. They use different techniques. They use... Um, Foreground background. There's all sorts of different, you know, you can even go way technical into it. Is, is techniques they, they 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 use to get you to feel the yeah, painting yeah. or the feel the sculpture, the feel the work, whatever mm-hmm. the art is, right? Film film is kind of a is is unique in its own way because it's 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 very much a hybrid of all these things coming together, mm-hmm. right? Photography, uh, motion photography, um, and, and even um, the way that you craft an image from an, uh, a painting standpoint, right? When you use lighting and color and, and, and composition mm-hmm. and, and stuff like that. And then also you throw music in on top of that. Music is its own art form, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And it just becomes this big, giant kind of piece, artistic piece where the director is at the helm and is like, I, I want to have this vision yeah. with this cinematography and this crafted shot and this, or this crafted scene mm-hmm. Combined with this piece of music, and it all comes together to be something really great, or not so great, yeah. because there's lots of bad movies <laughs> yeah, out there too. So, with bad but it, but anyway, it's it, it's always been very interesting to me. I've been very into it as well. TV. Oh yeah, we got spotlights. We got spotlights. That. This is uh, we're winging it right here. Hopefully, you enjoyed your spotlights. What happened to our pun video? Oh, oh, there, there it is. There it is. Let's play. Yeah. 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 That's all right. We're back at it now. Pub video. <laughs> pub video. Just, yeah. to just for the you. Pub atmosphere yes. here. Yes. Because, you know, so, we got a pub that we're in. Yep. So I will go ahead and go first, like I always fucking do. Um, sure, you do that. Sure, you do that. I'm going to start with number five, Psycho. That's a good one. That's a really good Psycho. one. Psycho. It's got a great theme. The, uh, uh, fuck, I can't remember how it goes. Uh... I just, the I'm, I'm blanking on members, like, especially when the dri- when she's driving. Like, dun, yes, dun, 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 there you go. Dun, dun. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, but man, it's so creepy yeah. and just kind of like at certain points, it like you kind of like kind of shrink at it, you know, because like oh my god, like that music is so so high intense almost. It's very mm-hmm. high. I love that song. That, it's kind of psycho it, theme. It's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of busy too. A little bit, yeah. It's a yeah. little busy. Yeah. Like it's, there's an urgency to it. Yeah, like, like almost. It feels yeah, like, almost. like nervous. Like something, something's going on. Like, like, like what? You're, like you're nervous. You, you kind of like you kind of like, shrink up. Like what's going on? It's it's busy yeah. in a, in a nervous neurotic way. Yeah. Right? Like it's like 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 there's like neuroses going on. We're just kind of like looking around. Like, what's, <laughs> what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you expect something's coming up mm-hmm. with that song. My um, number four. Beverly Hills cop theme song. <laughs> I really like this. I really like this. This is not in my top five. No? Either cycle, but but 
<laughs> Beverly Hills Cop is fucking great. And you know what's you know what's you know what's funny about it yeah. is that if you watch movies that came out after that that are trying yeah. to be like that, oh, you, you could so tell, dude. One, so of the, tell. one of the one that always immediately pop, yeah. pops to mind is Fletch. Fletch, yeah, with the Chevy Chase movie. I don't think I've ever watched that one. Yeah. No. Oh, you should. It's no, it's, it's a good movie. Yeah. Chevy Chase is great in it, yeah. but the score is so badly derivative yeah. of Beverly Hills Cop, and it's trying to be the same type of movie with yeah. a charismatic lead, right? Yeah. Who's like you know messing with people and stuff like that, and. Mm-hmm. And um, he's not quite a cop, but he's like a PI almost. He's, he's supposed to be a, a, yeah. a reporter, but he basically acts as like a PI. And the music is so derivative <laughs> of Beverly Hills Cop. It's almost embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, that, that theme song gets stuck in your head if you listen to it. And mm-hmm. man, it's such a good, great theme song for that movie. Uh, my number three, the James Bond, the actual theme yes. song, right? Fucking. Duh, just... Boom, it pops out right at, at you. Even even the uh, opening tracks on some of their uh, movies, I count that as well because they've they've had some good ones. The theme Chris, songs, theme songs, the actual theme, songs, actual yeah. theme songs. With like Chris Cornell singing one, Adele was a really good version of the. You're going the old, new. You're, you're going, going new ones, ones. But I mean, you can go old school as well. School I mean, too. Goldfinger's great. Goldfinger's good. Um, I like Goldfinger. Uh, Tina um, Turner, Golden Eye is great. Yeah, yeah. There um, you can go. That, there's that one too. there's some ones that aren't that good. Right? Yeah, there's I mean, but yeah, Diamonds Are Forever is great. I mean, there's a uh, there's a lot of there's a lot stuff. like James Bond in its entirety is number three because there's that even that that basic theme song is. Freaking iconic as hell. And um, what, Thunderball, which yeah. is oh god, is it is the who's Thunderball? It's uh, mm. Tony Bennett. Is it Tony Bennett or somebody of that ilk? Yeah. Somebody of that ilk. Yeah. It might not be Tony Bennett, but it's somebody of that ilk. Yeah. But yeah, Thunderball is a great yeah. one. Old school, old school one. Very old school. Um, you got Paul McCartney with "Live and Let Die," which is yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. There's some there's some really good ones and some not so good ones, yeah, but. Yeah. But the score, the score, the score is yes. utterly timeless. It is. No matter whether the, the theme songs, you know, su- succeed mm-hmm. or fail, the score is whoa, fantastic. It's, it's one of the best. Obviously, one of the best. Ever. Yes, yes. My number uh, two is the Halloween theme oh, song. It's it, great. It's, it's great. It's great. It just, you just John Carpenter. Oh my God. You're the man. So what You're I love man. about John Carpenter is yeah. he not only directed great movies, but he also wrote music for him. And then, yeah, good for you, man. And, You're and awesome. That Halloween theme song is just so iconic. It's played everywhere when when Halloween season comes abroad, and I can't wait for the movie Halloween Kills comes up. Uh, it should be a good one right there. Um, my number one, yeah, it's kind of obvious, Star Wars theme song. It's such a freaking huge, it's played, orchestras play this song, like just huge, embiotic, I don't even know if that's a word, <laughs> but <laughs> epic fucking song. It should be number one. It's so just huge and iconic, and I just love that. Even... Like the, when when uh, the the dark side and the Vader version. Oh, and, and, and Imperial, the Imperial, Imperial March. Yeah, Imperial yeah, March. Yeah. yeah. Even the actual theme song of the entire movie is amazing. Even when it's like very subtle and down, like the entire, all of the Star Wars theme songs. It, the is music, awesome. The music movie. really tells it does. a story. It does. It really, it really yeah. tells a story, mm-hmm. and it, it it sets a mood so well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough to beat. Tough to beat. That's my number one. So hopefully you guys are with me with that one. I'll do some. Uh, what did we call it? Um, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. We didn't make up that term, by the way. No, we didn't. We, it's not something. No, we call I it. just kind it's of forgot. Common. Forgot what it was called. Um, <laughs> you're gonna love this. This is at what this movie was on when I thought of doing this top five. The Titanic song, My Heart Will Go On. I'm like, you know what? That would be pretty cool top five. Like, trying to figure out a top five of movie theme songs, right? You, I mean, that that song is unanimous with that movie. Every time you hear that song, you hear Titanic. I think you mean synonymous. synonymous. Not unanimous. Or synonymous. I said synonymous, didn't I? No, you said unanimous. No, oh, whatever. I mean... It, I don't like the song, period, at all. I'm not, not a fan of that song, but it's definitely 
like top movie scores, top movie theme songs for sure. No, yeah, it's no, right. I'm, I'm good. good. You're good. You're good. good. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is great. But the, technically, it's a television show score. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That uh, Jaws. Movies. Jaws, obviously. Jaws is fantastic. fucking fantastic. Um, the Purple Rain. <laughs> Purple, I gotta laugh at that one. The Purple Rain song. I never did no. it. Prince guys no. don't really get it. No. Don't no. really get it. It doesn't uh, click with me. You're gonna love this one. The Hustle and Flow movie, Hot Out Here for a Pimp. That's a really good song. I like that one. You know it's hot out, out here, here for a pimp. pimp. That's a really good eh. one. I like that one. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. And then Shaft. Yeah, it's Shaft. Okay. Shaft. Okay. Th- there's an off-board it's choice off-board that really fits. There. That it really fits. So it's, it's 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 good. It's yeah. quality. It's yeah. quality. That's quality that's choice. my honorable mentions right there. So that's my top five and honorable mentions. Chris, what do you so, have? Are you going like? Are you bananas? What are you doing? I'm kind of winging this a winging, little bit. I need a beer. I, I don't know what it is, but I I kind of felt like I should wing this one a little You're bit. Winging it, huh? I don't know. I I feel like like movies kind of strike me in a mood, and I just. I should kind of just, you know, go with what I'm feeling. He's winging it because he forgot to uh, do a No, shot we punch. talked about this hours ago. I could have put a list together <laughs> if I really wanted to. You know, yeah. I wasn't lazy. But anyway, so here's what I'm thinking for number five. What's kind of ringing in my head for number five is The Good, and The Bad, and The Ugly by Ennio Morricone. It's a classic yeah. score. Yeah. Um, you nope. should know. I don't. Nope. No idea. What's the score that opens every single Metallica show? Well, S and C of Gold. Oh, that's the. Um, I'm sorry. What? S and C of Gold. <laughs> yeah. Right? Thank you. That's uh, part of the score of the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Oh, so that's the um, uh, Clint Eastwood movie, right? Yeah. There it is. Go. There you go. It is this guy. I swear. So anyway, it it's 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 a, such a well constructed mm-hmm. piece of music, but it, and it's also just it, it it especially if when you watch the movie, yeah, it creates such a sense of climax to where it almost supersedes what's actually going on in the movie. The music almost mm-hmm. rises above what's going the climax of the, of the film, which is not easy to do, and it just creates this this mood of like it all coming together and it all building to this crescendo and it's just it's just it's so amazing i like that one um it's 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 great so number four i think i'm can i just go a clean sweep with john williams scores for the next one that's fine i I can next four (laughs) might have been all five i might have been all all five because he is the master yeah but no, you know what? I might mix in another one here. So I think number four, I'm going to go Jaws. Jaws, yeah, yeah. So Jaws is an exercise in simplicity, mm-hmm. right? It's so simplistic, but it works on such a basic, it does. guttural kind of yeah. um, level to where it's just, it's just, it, it kind of, it, it's, it's very um, skeletal. Mm-hmm. Like it kind of just reaches in and kind of gets you in the bones. Yeah. And, and, and you just feel it like it's just there's something about it's so <laughs> damn ominous and it's it, it's so difficult like uh, we're one of you musicians right we've written songs we tried to we've yes. recorded we've, we've yeah. done all kinds of shit we know what it's like to actually write and record a piece of music and to make something that simple yet that compelling and that kind of um, ominous and and s- storytelling really yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so difficult to do, and and it's it's a credit to John Williams, and he's done. He, he's the master. He's mm-hmm. by far the best film composer I've ever heard. It's not, and it's not close. Second place is mm-hmm. distant, distant, distant second. And um, we'll get into more of his his stuff as we go on. But I wanted to give a, definitely a shout out to Jaws. Just it's an exercise of simplicity that that is is unmatched. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, number three, I'm going to go Back to the Future. Alan Silvestri. So, all right. Go back in then, time. That's not the score. Bro. Oh, whatever. That's Huey Lewis in the I news. know, I know, I know. I'm fucking with you. Fuck. <laughs> okay. 
So the score yes, is what I like. Score. The okay. score. Yeah, the yeah. score. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not going clean sweep with John Williams. I could have. Yeah. I could have. Um, I could have gone Indiana Jones. I could have gone Star Wars, which is fantastic. I could have gone. There's, there's so many John Williams scores that are amazing. But I want to give some love to some others. Alan Silvestri's score for Back to the Future is incredible. It really captures the mood yeah. of that movie, the mood and the feel, which is is. It's almost like pure entertainment. I feel like Back to the Future is a movie you can watch over and oh, over, over, and right. over and over again. It's been described as the perfect movie before mm-hmm. in some circles where it's just it's so entertaining. And the score just captures that somehow. Yeah. Where it's just like it just goes and goes yeah. and goes. It's always moving forward at a nice, easy, refreshing pace. Mm-hmm. It's just an exercise in really in mainstream movie making. And that yeah. I mean, usually mainstream is a dirty word. In this case, it's not because it's 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 so appealing to everybody. Mm-hmm. It's got such a broad appeal to yeah. it, while still being a great movie and a great story at the same time, with great characters, great acting, and everything. And, and check it out, all comes together. Yeah, check out the uh, the Netflix uh, the movies that made us on Netflix. They go over on season two. They go over that movie. Back to the Future. Yeah, and how it's how it's made and all the the crunch times that they had to get it out and everything. It's pretty cool. Check that out on Netflix. It's a good, good watch. And it, it, that movie's a true success story too, because mm-hmm. because it took it took a long time to get made. It did. It, it did. went through a lot yeah, of a lot of like Michael J. Fox wasn't even a part of that mm-hmm. movie until very last minute. They shot they already shot the majority of the movie with another actor. Yeah. And they had to reshoot everything. Eric, with, Eric Stoltz. Yeah. Eric Stoltz yeah. trivia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eric Stoltz was the original. Yeah, and they had who was re- a great actor, by the way. Yeah. They had to reshoot everything. Like the majority of the movie with Michael J. Fox, and he was doing double duty with uh, Family Ties. Family Ties. There you mm-hmm. go. So that's just a great story with that movie. Period. So and, check and, that and, out. and it's 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 a lightning in a bottle movie. Mm-hmm. They literally captured lightning in a they bottle, did. They did. making one of the most entertaining, yeah. watchable movies of all time. It reminds me a lot of, which might be an honorable mention. Yeah. Ghostbusters. All low Why budget, wasn't that in my own little Low budget. budget God damn it, like, like, not kind of like a movie where they fuck. literally just capture lightning in a bottle. Yeah. And they make a movie that's so damn watchable. Yeah. That no matter how many times you've seen it, it does not matter. If it comes on, you're sitting, you're watching, you know every moment, you know every line, it does not matter. It's still goddamn yeah. entertaining. It and is. that's yeah. so hard to do, especially from a broad spectrum. Like, like a Ghostbusters or a Back to the Future is, where it can appeal to such a wide audience yeah. and still be such a great film at the same time. It's incredible. But anyway, we're getting off on the film aspect. The score itself in Back to the Future yeah. is so memorable and it so yeah. and, and so lasting and timeless. Number two, I'm gonna go Rocky. Oh, Rocky. Bill Conti. Yeah. Bill Conti, my man. So <sighs> this. This movie and this score almost work in spite of itself. Mm-hmm. Because it could so easily be cheesy. And a lot of ways it comes it, off cheesy. And, and, and in a lot of ways it is. Yeah, it, 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 it is, but yeah. it, you just when you're watching it, you just don't care. Yeah. Yeah. You don't care how cheesy and how like how outrageously tug at your heartstrings it yeah. is. Like and how like like you know makes you want to like it's it's literally like the music it almost feels like it's constructed just to make you want to cheer and clap. <laughs> and it seems cheesy because it's like it's almost like pandering. But you just don't care when you watch it and hear it. Yeah. You just don't care. And that's a testament to how good it is. It's like it overcomes any barriers to just be absolutely and utterly timeless and rousing. It's 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 a rousing score. Like it's 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 triumphant. Yeah. It's it 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 makes you Want to believe it makes you want to do better as a person. <laughs> then, and I mean, I, any piece of, that. Any piece of music that, sure, that makes yeah. you feel that mm-hmm. that's what art is, right? Art is about making you feel something, yeah, yeah, bringing something, pulling, yanking something out of you that you don't normally express, right? Art is about expression, and yeah, that's yeah. what music to me does really well in yeah. film is it, it is it. The visual aspect is there, but then the music kind of pulls the extra kind of emotions yeah. out of you. Yep. And Rocky is such a great example of that because you watch the training montages mm-hmm. with that big ass Bill Conti score going on in the background, and it's like <sighs> Rocky Three is a great example, right? Mm-hmm. If a, a child of the '80s you grow up watching that movie, it's like this should be really cheesy <laughs> and corny, but god damn it, if I don't love it. 
<laughs> every second of it right. with that music and with what's going on on screen it's like it's just it's so great and so fun yeah. and 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 makes you want to believe in the characters makes you want to see yeah, them yeah, succeed yeah. makes you want to succeed yourself yeah and that's you know it's hard to do that with it it's a good one I like that one number one number uno what do okay, you got okay so I'm going back to my boy John Williams who like I said yeah. who I could have easily put in all the top five, oh, five. if I really oh, wanted five. to you can go Jaws you can go Indiana yeah. Jones you can go Star Wars um, there's more I'm just blanking but yeah. there's there's definitely more but my number one all time movie score mm -hmm. and it, this is easy for me okay. like when you brought up top five movie scores I'm like oh number one is done I already yeah, know right. it's Superman okay yeah that yeah. score is so incredible to me I can listen to that without the movie yeah and just yeah. The construction, the structure of it. So we okay, we talk about metal and hard rock. Yeah, and of, course, of course. A lot of things that we like about it is the the progression, mm -hmm. the way it builds, yeah. builds, builds to, and and just takes you on a journey, takes you on a ride. Yeah. Throughout the song, right? It's not just you know four and a half minute re repeated beat. You know, yeah. it's just like you know radio friendly or whatever. No, it's 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 a piece of art. It's a piece of 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 construction that, that just takes you on this journey. Superman is the, the film score that absolutely exemplifies that to me more than any other film score. It's just the way it builds and the transitions that it goes through, the yeah. ride it takes you on. The fuck, I remember even being a little kid and not even appreciating music that much, but just watching the opening credits of the first Superman movie and just listening to that song as yeah, it goes through its goes different through. changes and everything yeah. throughout the whole credits, it's like it's like the most exciting credit scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and it's just it's just it's just names on the screen, but the music the makes it you. so exciting. Yeah, right on. And there's something palpable there that that's just every time I hear that song, it's yeah. so goddamn epic, and it's so nostalgic too. Yeah. Like it takes me back to a time when of wonder, right? When like. I'm watching that movie and just knowing that I'm in for something amazing. Yeah, yeah. And the music totally, 100% is what sets the tone. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, Not the comic books, because I didn't even start reading comic books when I was that young. Huh. It was the music that set the tone. And then when that, mu when that movie started, and I can even hear it now. Yeah, like yeah. like when, it, when, it, when the credits end and it goes into like this really dark tone. Yeah. And like subdued and the music kind of slows down and it goes... Da, 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 da. Like I can even see the scenes, like as it goes to Krypton and the, yeah. and, the, and the theme goes to Krypton and everything. It's just, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's a wonderful piece of work. Wonderful piece of work. And I will forever, forever love John Williams for being that great. Well, there you of go. A musician. That's your number one. Mm -hmm. Um, what? Do you, I know oh, we're, we're, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. You got any honorable mentions? Yes, I do. Right. <laughs> you wanted to shoot well, past me there because no. I rambled on too long as it is. That's your honorable mentions. I know I'm quick. You ramble. Like, yeah, I know. Let me get off on a rant here. God damn. Uh, Indiana Jones, Star yeah. Wars, other the other John Williams. Obviously, yeah. I really like Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. like that. Um, I, I'm surprised. I, for, I completely forgot about Ghostbusters. I don't know. Ghostbusters why. is great. It's great. Even great. The, if you guys haven't watched a new trailer for Ghostbusters, oh, it, it, it like. I got me goosebumps. So, so Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. I'm, I'm besides movie. the Ray Parker song, yeah. which is obviously, hmm. which is obviously a, a classic. It's the song, the song that gets the movie for sure. But it's a, it's a classic pop song. Yeah. But but the score in Ghostbusters is great too yeah, yeah, and yeah. underrated. Like it's it's actually a really good score. Like mm -hmm. it creates such a great mood in that. Halloween absolutely. Oh, Halloween has yes. to be one of my own mentions be. because John Carpenter is a yeah, master. God damn. Yeah. Um, Even uh, the, I'm trying to remember the things. Uh, yeah, it's 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 very much like Jaws. Yeah, it's very simplistic. It's very it's simplistic. Like, boom, boom, yeah, boom, it's very, boom. very, very, very. And it's 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 just eerie, a, eerie. Yes, almost, it's it's know? great. It's very yeah. good. Um, I love the Escape from New York score, I'm, the theme song I'm, that plays under the credits. Oh, I love that John Carpenter. Yeah, it's just a, it's like a little synthesizer keyboard melody. Mm -hmm. It's great. And then they did like an like an updated version yeah. for Escape from L.A. It's fucking awesome. It's like the best part of that entire movie because the movie's not that great <laughs> compared to Escape from New York. But when they bring back the original theme, but it's like updated yeah. in the opening credits, it's like, oh yes, I'm so in it for this movie. And then even though the movie was bad, I still love it because of that. <laughs> well, there you go. 
Well, there's our top five, top five, baby, of uh, movie theme songs or scores or whatever you want to call it. I feel like there's more. It. There's, there's plenty more. more. Plenty more. The Shining. Ooh, oh, Shining. The Shining. Great one. I do like, uh, if you're talking like superheroes, I do like Wonder Woman's theme. Song. Yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman's a good theme yeah. song. Uh, That's uh, Han, is that Hans Zimmer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. I think it's Hans Zimmer. It's a good theme song. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh... I'm blanking. I'm, I'm. I don't know. I really like the Avengers theme song. Oh, I do um, too. I do too. Great. It's good it's stuff. Great. Good stuff. Um, Never super too. rousing, kind of like the yeah. Rockets theme song. It's very rousing. Like yeah, it yeah. just kind of makes yeah. you. you. You know what? Like for some reason, golden tea there. Um, the mic can't hear. But I need. I need to. I need to uh, start paying attention more to movie theme songs. Like in today's today's world. Right, we don't, we don't. I don't think I pay attention enough when I'm watching the movies about their theme songs and, and their like you know, the score as much as like I used to back in the day. I think I think that's like a challenge for all of us. We need to start paying attention more to these newer movies with theme songs and scores and see see if they're good enough, you know, that helps the movie or not. Um, I, I, I think I, I think it's I think it's a thing. It's a worthy thing to analyze. The problem yeah. is, is that uh, most people like just want to hear about if the movie's good or not. They don't yeah, hear they don't want to break down how the music down, plays. No, no, they don't. <laughs> you know? But I think I think maybe we need to start listening to the the score. Of I, mean, I the love movies, it. Like, right? like I said, this is yeah. something that's near and dear to my heart yeah. because I love the way music interacts yeah. with film. Mm -hmm. But I'm also kind of a a movie nerd, so yeah. most other people are just like, "Hey, man, is the movie good or not?" I don't yeah, I don't, I don't care what the music <laughs> is. You know, that's why this top you know, five is very interesting. You know who's not in our top fives or or in our honorable mentions? Who? Danny Elfman. Uh, because you suck, sucker. <laughs> <laughs>